Welcome back. So, I was wrong. We tested our last fix with the vacuum pump and the car only made around four inches of vacuum going down the track and continued to fill up the puke tank with way too much oil. Next step in trying to fix this is gonna be using a smoke machine. That will show us where and if the engine is leaking. Vacuum pumps will not work right if the engine has leaks. Filling up the engine with smoke, you can see the issues in the oil pan area and then up in the valley pan area here and here. So let's go ahead and tackle the oil pan. So first off, we drain the oil to be reused. A few moments later. After that, we remove the rack and pinion to get the old oil pan and windows tray removed. After that, got working on getting all the gasket surfaces cleaned to free of, of all old gasket material. Let's go a bit in depth about what's going on here. So here's the issue. This is a common setup among big block Mopar builds. Originally, we had the block and girdle, oil pan gasket, windows tray, another oil pan gasket, and finally the oil pan. Way too much going on. So I've opted to remove two gaskets and a windows tray with, for a one-piece windows tray. This is a windows tray with a gasket molded into it and is reusable. This is one of our products, part number SCH G2340. See description below in the link for more info. Next, we got everything reinstalled and filled the engine with oil. So inside the car, we were noticing two to three inches of vacuum at 2,000 to 2,500 RPM, which is an increase that could still be improved. Check for leaks, everything looks dry. Impressive for any gasket that doesn't use RTV. We are gonna go ahead and go to the track this weekend, so we'll see what kind of vacuum it makes this time around. Once again, as always, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more racing content.